although I love Godot and don't use it for my personal and work projects. This has key reasons behind that we'll check out today. I'm going to be following some of the comments in previous and related videos to present even more solid arguments. Let's start. 1. Lack of tutorials. It is a complete reality the fact that there are much less tutorials about Godot than in any other engine. And when we are starting off in some new engine, we really rely, I would say even completely, in tutorials. Even though there are other ways of uh, learning an engine, probably the way that people most choose is watching tutorials. Why? Because it is the most straightforward, most simple and easiest way of getting started. You can be for or against this idea, but this is the reality of most people. And here is when the problem comes. Although there are tons of tutorials about Godot and there are also lots of content creators that are constantly creating amazing videos about how to create games with Godot and about other important things within Godot game development, I would say that the amount of information there are both in tutorials, in solutions provided by the forums, it isn't as much as we have in other engines. And this is of course quite understandable because of the fact that Godot is quite a new engine. Let's say that Godot um, has only been used for, let's say seriously, for like two or three years. Whereas other engines have been, been used for decades. Therefore, it is quite understandable the fact that there aren't as many tutorials as in other softwares. So the lack of tutorials in the Godot is a reality and is a reality that hits a lot beginners. Not only beginners but also more intermediate and advanced developers when looking for solutions or looking forward to implementing some mechanic and when they look for it in YouTube, in a kind of forum or literally wherever, maybe they don't find it. Now and here we have the first comment that I would really love to answer. Lacking of tutorials, bro, you can totally rely on, on yourself, read documentation of notes, if something is unclear, go study source code C++ that is used in Godot Engine, it's not rocket science and it's easy to read. Firstly, of course you can totally rely on yourself, but once you already have some kind of knowledge, and how are you able to gain that knowledge if there is a lack of tutorials first? I agree that the Godot documentation is amazing, that you can read lots of things about notes, the scripts, etc. But well, I would say that most people prefer video tutorials instead of text tutorials. And also again, the amount of tutorials out there, if we take the amount of tutorials that are just text-based, there are even less tutorials than there are in videos. So the problem is still the same, the same one. There is a lack of information with Godot because it is quite new. And then here when he says that you should be studying the source code of Godot, Again, it would be quite an interesting way of learning a new engine and taking advantage of the fact that Godot is open source. But if there is a beginner or intermediate developer that has some problem that probably has to do with JDScript because it is the most used programming language in Godot, how that person is going to be able to understand C++? That person would have to learn C++, understand C++, and then basically study the Godot source code. The problem remains the same, there is lack of information in the Godot engine whether you like it or not. I really do think that you don't really have to, re to relay on tutorials every time because tutorials aren't enough and when you are developing more advanced stuff you can't completely just um, advance depending on tutorials. But at a certain point I think that we all uh, relay completely on tutorials. The second comment is this one, the tutorial problem will go away because Brackis and GD Quest, just to name a few. Firstly, talking about Brackis, yes of course, he has been uploading some interesting and super super amazing good old courses, but we only have right now two of them. And it has been something like 2-3 weeks since he last uploaded the last good old course. He could be making more Godot courses, more information about Godot, etc. But the problem remains the same. Currently, right now, at this moment, we don't have that much amount of tutorials. We only have like two tutorials. Even though they are super, super good, it is not enough. And those tutorials are just for beginners. What are we going to do with more intermediate or more advanced developers? Then to get about GD Quest, it is... Um, Quite different from Brackis because of the fact that, well, since the start of GD Quest, he has been uploading Godot content. 
and yes his tutorials are super super amazing but well there we only have one channel one person that is behind it well maybe he also has a team but you understand it is just one channel that we have over there and a complete community of thousands of developers can't just relay on one content creator or even two content creators if we include brackets but well brackets only has two tutorials right now I feel like here the community is like trying to avoid here a problem that is with without or, or an issue that could be fixed with, uh, as time goes by. So instead of like accepting the reality that there aren't as many tutorials as there could be in the future, they say, no, there isn't a lack of tutorials, you should rely on yourself, you can study the source code, there are still tutorials. And I agree with that, but you can't like uh, not accept the reality. So to sum up here the point of lack of tutorials the thing is that even though there are content creators that are like new with without such as brackets that are uploading amazing content it is something that is happening today they are today uploading new content but we don't have that much amount of content that has been doing uh, in the last decades as we have with uh, with unity for example and then even though there are amazing content creators such as gd quest Again, a complete good community of thousands of developers can't only rely on one content creator. 3. Not having a long journey. And this is super super related to the previous point about a lack of tutorials. The first release of good old, good old 4.1 was released in December 2014. This means that it was released something like 10 years ago. But well, this was just some kind of test of the Without engine. Of course, it was super different from the version that we have today. And always remember that Without didn't, doesn't actually have any kind of company behind it. So even the first version of it were quite, quite um, bad, okay? If we compare it to the first versions of Unity or Unreal, for example, as they are owned by a company. So we could say that Without actually started like being what Without is in Godot 3.0 that was released in January 2018 and this is just 6 years ago. So let's say that Godot has been existing officially or massively um, since 6 years ago, whereas other um, engines such as Unity or Unreal has been existing for more than 20 years. That is like 3 more times uh, that the amount of years that Godot has been living for. So this affects lots of areas because not having a long journey means that there is less amount of information out there on the internet we have been mentioning. That also means that it doesn't probably has the same amount or the same quality of features that other engine that has had many many decades in the market. And this also means that not lots of companies are accustomed to using Godot. Because basically, even though Godot is an amazing engine as Unity or Unreal has been existing for decades, Companies are already using these engines for their developers, their developers are using them and their games that are making or made are made already with uh, Unity or Unreal probably. So why would a company uh, spend money on teaching the developers or even time that is equal to money uh, developers how to use Groot if they already are quite comfortable with Unity or Unreal? So yes, basically not having a long journey affects the amount of information that is out there in tutorials, for example, and also quite affects the amount of job opportunities that are out there because co companies are used to using other engines. And basically this gives us to the last point, the lack of jobs. And here the argument that I feel that they are trying to give is quite similar to one that they give in tutorials. Basically they are trying to justify it or not accept the reality that there is basically in this comment we can see for example um how they are saying that indeed finding a job in game development in spite of the engine that you use is going to be difficult because it is such such a competitive uh, field this is super related to the previous point of not having a long journey studios companies even indie developers that may have a small team are already used to using uh, other engines they have been existing for years, so maybe some studios started using Unity like 10 years ago. So why now would they change to use Godot if they have been using Unity for so, so much time? Therefore, if a company that has been using Unity for 10 years, why would it look for a Godot developer? It would make literally no sense. For sure, you can still sell your games as a freelancer. You can still sell your games as an indie developer using Godot. 
but if we are talking about companies jobs let's say formal jobs at some kind of studio companies literally finding angular jobs is going to be super super challenging and i'm not telling you this because i dislike you don't but basically i want to tell you this if you want to work for some kind of company studio etc it's going to be most impossible basically look in google how to find a job as a widow developer and you're going to find dozens of posts of people telling you if you want to work in a studio it's going to be super complicated to find a job there and on the other hand look how to apply for or look for a unity uh, job and you're going to find helpful information firstly and then you're also going to find even open jobs right now that you can apply for or go to linkedin okay and look there unity game developer position you're going to find probably some and if you look for good old developer literally i found zero results i feel like they are always trying like to avoid going straight forward to the point and like trying to um avoid accepting the reality and both basically having a lack of jobs and lacking um tutorials and information isn't actually something bad it's some, something that is understandable because without is quite a new engine okay so i understand that probably the the fans of without don't want to accept that it has bad points but a way of actually making things better is accepting them as they are and trying to actually make them better so basically all those were my reasons why i am not currently using Grove. i am not saying that it's an engine that i don't recommend people to use it on the other hand i completely encourage you to try out Grove, try out your own experience because you can actually learn lots of things from without and actually it is super it is super useful engine in which you can create lots of interesting things Anyway, I would love to read you in the comments down below about your opinion about this video and about if you use or not good out, if you would recommend it or not, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.